The death toll continues to rise on the West Coast, where multiple wildfires are still going strong. Firefighters are working day and night to try to stop them from spreading. Mother Nature is not providing any relief. ABC's Danya Backus is in Los Angeles. The car fire leveling homes, exhausting firefighters, and still spreading in every direction. I've never seen a fire with such destruction here in this area ever before. Nearly 40,000 people told to evacuate. More than 98,000 acres burning so far. I don't even care about my house right now. I just want to know where my husband is and if he's safe. Many fear the death toll will continue to rise. Officials say six people are dead. Among the victims, two firefighters and Melody Bledsoe and two of her great-grandchildren. Relatives say her body was found over the children as one last attempt to save them. Talking to my little grandson on the phone, he's saying, Grandpa, please, you got to come and help us with fires at the back door. I said, <laughs> I said, I'm right by you, honey. Just hold on. Grandpa's coming. Thousands of firefighters are putting everything they can into stopping the flames. More than 800 buildings have been destroyed. Amongst the rubble, homes belonging to first responders. That was a firefighter's house right there. Yeah, a lot of firefighters lost their houses too. The car fire is just one of several burning in California. Another large fire, the Ferguson Fire near Yosemite National Park, burning more than 54,000 acres. Killing two firefighters, the latest 33-year-old fire captain, Brian Hughes. Just some of the most tragic outcomes yeah. from those fires. And firefighters are getting no relief from the weather. Hot and dry conditions are expected to persist through the rest of the week. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.